guys, welcome back to my channel. Chessie here, aka Miss Tricky Holic, and I'm here to do a review and lip swatches of the Ever Banana Liquid Lipsticks. So before we start, I want to wish everyone a Merry Merry Christmas, and yeah, let's move on to the lip swatches.
Okay, now for the review of the Ever Valera Liquid Lipsticks. So, I have all the shades right here. There's a total of 12 shades for now. So, I don't know if Ever Balena is going to launch more shades. This is my initial um, purchase. These nudes. And I love them right off the bat. I like it. But for the reds and the other colors, this is my first time to try it on. So, I have a lot of thoughts. Okay, so... For the nudes, these colors, if you love nudes, I highly recommend all five shades. Even for the... Because I was kind of scared to try out these two. The mauve and Sexy Nude because I have this in a lipstick form and it's very light on my lips. So I don't really like the lipstick version but the liquid lipsticks, I love them. They're very wearable even with my complexion and I believe it's all of the colors are suitable to everyone. As for these three, Sienna's does in Toast of New York. Actually, Sienna's is like in the middle of the five nudes. If I had to choose one of the nudes, go get Sienna's. So for the Toast of New York and Dusk, um, for the Dusk, if you saw on my lip swatches, I tried to layer it Two times but for all these four I only layered it once for this one I tried it two times if it will appear patchy or you know it's not gonna look good and it's okay so with this dark kind of brownish nude it's okay if you layer it twice or just once it's still beautiful the consistency of the ever banana liquid lipsticks is very thin even with this See, it is very thin, but it's very pigmented. I love the consistency. It's very easy to apply, even for the dark nudes. Let's see if... Does it smell? I can't describe the smell, but there is a hint of... It's not that bothering, but I mean, if you place it near your nose, it's kind of strong. But when you apply it on your lips, you won't smell it so it's okay by the way the ever banana liquid lipstick has 5.5 ml so most of the liquid lipsticks only have about 3 ml i mean the vice cosmetics the phenomenal liquid lipstick only has 3 ml the blk cosmetics has 3 ml and this has 5.5 ml moving on to the reds these four reds are amazing i love them I'm not really into reds or dark colors because I'm more on the nude side, but because of these colors. This one, I was afraid that it would be patchy or, you know, because it's a bright red with a hint of orange. It's more of a warm tone red, not the cool tone type of red, but it's still very... Oh, actually it matches my top. Can you see? But it's still so beautiful on the lips and it has the same consistency with the um, nudes, this one. Also, the Fierce Red is so beautiful, the Vamp Red and the Vogue Diva. So even the Vogue Diva, the one that I'm wearing right now, is so easy to apply. I layered it twice, also this um, Vamp Red, just to see if it would be patchy when I keep on layering. and it no, it's not patchy at all. You can swipe one layer or layer it twice and it's so beautiful on the lips. So these are all phenomenal, the nudes and the reds. Okay, now let's talk about the ones that uh, I was iffy about. These three that I do not recommend. Disclaimer, this is just my opinion. It didn't work on my lips. But I'm not saying it wouldn't work on your lips. So this is also the first time I tried these colors because typically I wouldn't wear these types of colors for this one the pink flame it reminded me of the, the detail makeover matte and detail line um dimples or Nash so it's a bright pink and it was so patchy on my lips I don't know if like my lips just doesn't like this type of pink colors for this one the vivid violet this it can work 
but it's still patchy like when I layer it and layer it it just swipes off the color away not unlike the reds or the nudes so I really had a hard time with this and especially this rouge berry I had to layer this three times just to make it work on my lips so uh, these three I do not recommend let's see if it's kiss proof Okay, there is a bit of transfer. Can you see that? It's not that kiss proof. There's a little bit. But because of this color of Vogue Diva, I layered it twice. So maybe that's because it's not yet dry. Complete. It, 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 see? But there are flakes. Can you see? Oh my god! Is that on my teeth? So that Vogue Diva went all over my teeth and look, it crumbled already. So I can say, based also on my experience when I'm wearing these lipsticks, these are not long wearing at all. But the shades are very nice. I mean, if you're just looking for a liquid lipstick, let's see if I reapply because I don't know why. Can you see? Oh my god, okay. And it's crumbling. my lips okay but the Vogue Diva I thought I love it but now I'm not sure <laughs> because can you see I haven't drank anything yet I'm just talking to you right now after I did the lip swatches and this is what happened okay so for my final verdict for the ever banana liquid lipsticks what I recommend this to you guys well it is affordable only 185 so price is okay the shade selection i love the shade selection all the nudes and the reds they're very nice the fit consistency is nice it's very easy to apply but it's not long lasting it's not that kiss proof or maybe because i layered it too much and it crumbled on my lips and the lipstick is gone already it's here in the inner corner and just by talking honestly there are a lot of local liquid lipstick brands who also have like the same price range which is better but again if you're looking just for a normal liquid lipstick that has some nice colors or a variety of colors if you're into the reds the nudes then they're okay well this it crumbled but it's still nice I don't know, maybe it's just my lips because my lips are hurting already because of the lip swatches. So for these swatches, so here we have the Mauve, Sexy Nude, Sienna's, um, Toast of New York, Dusk. And then these are the lipsticks. So as you can see, Mauve and the Mauve lipstick, the lipstick is lighter. Also with a sexy nude. You can see that the lipstick is lighter. And for the Sienna's, it's a little bit similar. Like, it's very close. And for the Toast of New York, yeah, it's also similar there, this one. For dust, I don't have the lipstick for dust. Here are the other shades. So we have Love That Red. Ooh, I love that red. Fierce Red. Vamp Red, Vogue Diva. So these are the four reds. And here on top, we have the Pink Flame. When you swatch it, it's nice. I don't know, maybe it's just my lips. Uh, the Vivid Violet. The Vivid Violet is also nice when you swatch it. A little bit patchy, but still. Can you see? There, there's the patchiness, but this one is okay. And last is the Rouge Berry. So I hope you guys watch my next video, which is the Caroline Liquid Lipsticks, because I'm going to compare the two, which is better, the Caroline or the Ever Belena. So oh, before I forget, I forgot to show you the applicator of the, the Ever Belena. So it's a slanted low foot applicator. So yeah, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up if you like it. 
Comment down below what are your thoughts on the Every Banana Liquid Lipsticks. If you haven't tried it or if you tried it, I just want to know your thoughts and opinions. And also comment down below what you guys want me to review next. Because there's a lot in store, especially for 2018. So watch out for that. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on my next one. Bye!